Well, hello there, everybody. This is Josh at Wellstream. Today we're going to be going over some of the, the simple filtering that you can do on the dashboard. Um, we're going to be diving into the sales flow, how to build a watch list and how to filter to your watch list, and then how to filter by multiple tickers. So as always, right side is the real-time option flow, left side is the dark pools and equity block orders. All right, let's dive into it. So let's say you want to filter by multiple tickers. So let's start with that. Let's say you want to do Apple. Boom, now it's just filtered to Apple. But let's say you also want to throw in some AMD. So you do a comma, type in AMD. You got to type it kind of quickly. Um, and then let's say you want to throw in Tesla. Boom, Tesla. And let's throw in one more. Let's do Wish. Okay. So now if you scroll through here, you'll see Wish, Apple, Tesla, AMD. Cool. So that's how you filter by multiple tickers at once. Um, you'll also notice we have four filters tickered, uh, four tickers filtered, sorry. Um, and over here, you'll see the four. So now if we were to add another filter, like let's say aggressive by clicking on aggressive and filter to just the aggressive orders, you'll see a five. So that's just counting how many filters are applied at the time. So let's un unapply aggressive and let's look at um, let's look at how to build a watch list. So let's clear these out, get them out of our way. And let's say we want to throw Neo in. So we click on the little star that at, when it turns yellow, that means it was added to your watch list. Um, let's also add some Baba, some Wish and Let's do Donkey Kong or DraftKings, whichever you prefer. I prefer Donkey Kong. And you know what? Let's do JetBlue as well because it's over here in the equities and I want to show you how this applies to both. So now when we toggle on our watch list because we just added some in, you just flip the switch, boom. And now you're only looking at the orders that were filled, I mean, that 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 are in your watch list. So Neo, Baba, Wish, JetBlue, and then over here, you see D, um, DraftKings, Wish, JetBlue. So it filters it on both sides. Now to go back to all the flow, you just turn off the watch list and boom. If you had filters applied, they would still be applied in your watch list. So even if you have stuff in your watch list, if you were really focused on aggressive orders, a lot of this still wouldn't show up because it would still be filtering your watch list. But let's turn that off. All right, so now that's the watch list. So now let's say you were looking at something like DraftKings and you were looking at the flow. You're like, wow, this looks really bullish. Everything's green. I don't see no puts. Okay, cool. But here's a big premium, 466, but it's in the money. So it doesn't really show an aggressive, um, that these people think an aggressive move is coming. It looks a little more conservative. So I pay it no mind, but you might want to pay it some mind. Um, but I don't so a lot of this is smaller premium. I Like to find things with larger premium typically here's another 489, but it's in the money as well And then this is from last week um, So overall it looks pretty bullish, right? But let's see so this is remember our dashboard defaults to buys so orders filled at or above the ask are all that are going to be showing on your dashboard unless you toggle to the sales flow when you toggle to the sales flow it's only going to show you the sales orders that are filled at or below the bid so we think it's important to show you the buys and we don't want to mix them in because then it gets a little confusing so we give you the option to just toggle on the sales flow and remember that that inverse when it's a sale the sentiment is inversed so a sold call is actually bearish. So we made it red when it's a call because it illustrates that bearishness and a sold put is bullish. So now if we look over here, we see a lot of matching premiums to the buys. Um, here's another 511, a big guy in the money as well. But you see a lot of matching premiums, you know, it's almost canceling it out. So Don, uh, DraftKings, sorry, I keep doing that. Um, 
DraftKings is something that maybe I wouldn't trade because there isn't a clear indication of direction at the moment. So maybe I would just sit this one out. Um, maybe, maybe there's something on a chart that would imply that it's got a move coming, but based on just the flow alone, I would maybe sit this guy out because the calls, there's bought calls, there's sold calls, and they're kind of negating each other um, and making it more of a neutral uh, sentiment in my mind. So that's one of the ways I like to use the sales flow. Um, again, that is the orders filled at or below the bid. And if you have any questions, definitely always throw them in the chat, shoot us an email on, at support. And um, yeah, so we're gonna dive into another video shortly where we go over the advanced filters where you can get really granular with the way that you filter, pile filters on top of each other and really narrow in on the on the flow that you want to see. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for, for more videos. Peace.